So when you're calculating a ballistic solution to center your group at long range, it's important to understand the effects of muzzle velocity. Okay, muzzle velocity is an important initial condition, which means it's going to affect your drop starting at short range. Okay, uh, muzzle velocity is important in several ways. You need to know an accurate value of your average muzzle velocity in your ballistic solver so that you'll get accurate fire solutions at long range. Uh, one way to do that is with the chronograph. If you have a good chronograph, you can measure your muzzle velocity directly, input it into the solver, and you'll be getting accurate fire solutions from the first shot. If you don't have a reliably accurate chronograph, there's another way that you can get your muzzle velocity. And that's by reverse engineering based on your observed drop at long range. So the applied ballistics software, the mobile apps and the Kestrel, allow you to calibrate or true your ballistic solution based on your observed drop. And the way it works is pretty simple. You go into your solver, you find a target at the recommended range, which is close to transonic. You fire some shots at it and determine how much elevation is needed to be zeroed at that range. For example, you might need eight and a half mils to be zeroed at 800 meters. So you put that into the solver, the solver reverse engineers the muzzle velocity required to make that consistent and then you save it and lock it in. Now you know your muzzle velocity and your fire solution is going to be correct for all ranges. Okay, that's one reason it's important to know your muzzle velocity because it's going to set up how much drop you have at any distance. The other way that muzzle velocity is important in, in long range shooting is consistency. Okay, if you have a great deal of variation in your muzzle velocity, then your dispersion at long range, your vertical dispersion is going to grow uh, make it harder to hit your targets. So the more consistent your muzzle velocity is, it's measured in standard deviation. So you want your standard deviation of your muzzle velocity to be 10 feet per second or less with good long range ammunition. And that'll ensure that your group size doesn't disperse too much vertically and your hit percentage stays high at long range. And remember, these short videos are just intended for basic exposure to general concepts. Uh, there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more to the science of long range shooting and to learn more about that science, you can read the applied ballistics books, which are written in layman's terms for the long range shooter.